Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so if you already seen my five minute makeup challenge, then you would already have seen this look, kinda. Um, I just kinda threw something on real quick in that video, my last one. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. Um, and I really liked how it looked. Um, so I'm just gonna recreate that um, and take my time and make it look good. It's gonna be a pretty natural look um, because I don't really do much of those on my channel. So I want to try something more natural and like wearable and everyday. Um, Alright, so yeah, so I'm just going to get started with the video. So first I'm going to take this moisturizer and this is from the Body Shop. This is their Vitamin E Aqua Boost Sherbet. And I do have dry skin so I'm going to go on with like a, this is like a heavy moisturizer because I do have such dry skin. Alright, so now that that's dry, I'm going to go in with this um, NYX Color Correcting Liquid. I'm going to put that in my T-zone, especially right here by my nose and my chin because um, I get pretty red right there. I'm also going to put it on this big ass pimple on my upper lip, which I'm not too happy about. And then with a little dual fiber brush, just like this, I'm just going to take some from the back of my hand and I'm just going to put it on my skin. What I really like about this is that it does get rid of the redness, like as you can see that like is gone. Um, and it doesn't leave like a green cast or anything. It just like blends into your skin. Which I love. So you can use it under foundation or you can use it with no foundation at all. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to my foundation and for that I'm going to use this Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. And the lady who matched me, it was a little off. So I'm going to take this Pro Foundation Mixer by NYX. Um, and this is just white. It's just to lighten any foundation if it's too dark for you. I'm just going to mix that in on the back of my hand and then apply that with a beauty blender. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Morphe 15 um, C01 palette and I'm going to grab this shade up here. I'm going to use that to conceal and highlight. Alright, and now I'm going to blend that out with the Beauty Blender. Alright, so after that, I'm going to take my powder foundation. This is NYX Hydro Touch, shade 01. I'm just going to put that all over my face to set my foundation. I'm going to avoid the areas where I put my highlight down, just because this foundation is a little bit darker than that, and I don't want to disrupt the highlight that I put down. And then to set the highlight areas to keep them nice and bright, I'm going to mix this color, this white shade, with this one here in the middle. And this is the Morphe 06 PC palette. I'm just going to grab this brush. This is the Morphe M438. I'm going to use this shade right here by Makeup Geek. This is a contour. Um, and this is called Breakup. And to contour, I'm going to take this Morphe M430 brush. Alright, and for blush, I'm going to take this shade right here. It's called Bliss, and this is by Makeup Key. And to apply that, I'm going to take the Morphe E4 brush. So last, I'm going to take this highlighter. This is Mary Lou by The Balm. And I'm going to use a fan brush for that. Alright, so I just went into my eyebrows off camera. And now I'm going to do the eyes. So I didn't prime my eyes, I just put um, the foundation or my eyelids. It's basically the same thing. So I'm just going to go in with the eye makeup. So first I'm going to take this eyeshadow stick by The Balm. This is their Batter Up 
long wearing eyeshadow stick. And this is in the shade Moonshot. And then I'm going to grab this foiled shadow by Makeup Geek, and this is in Starry Eyed. I'm going to put that over the cream stick that I just put down. So I'm going to take the Sigma E54. This is just a flat um, eyeshadow brush. Right now I'm going to take Bitten by Makeup Geek. And just on a blending brush, I'm going to put that into my crease. That is pigmented. Shit. So I'm going to grab a shade like this that's close to my skin tone. Um, this doesn't have a name, but it's just a peachy color. And I'm just going to use that to blend out my crease. And then with no additional product on this brush, I'm just going to go back in with that dark shade and just add a little bit more in to the crease. And I'm going to grab that shimmery shade and I'm going to also put that into the inner corner just to highlight it. And then taking a pencil brush on that dark shade, I'm going to run that under the waterline. And then with that same peach shade, I'm just going to blend that out. And I'm going to take this nude eyeliner pencil from Makeup Geek, and this is just in the shade nude. I'm going to put that into my waterline. going to put some mascara on, curl my lashes, and then I'll be right back. Alright, so for the lips, I just mix these two together. Um, first I put on this one, this is the NYX Laundry Ray, and this is in shade Embellishment. Put that all over my lips, and then I kind of ombre it out with this one. This is Margaret Jordan Cosmetics, in the shade Bumble. I think it matches the eyes, like, spot on. So that's what I did with lips, and that is the end of this video. Um, this little natural fall glam video. Um, so if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to give me any feedback. Um, subscribe if you have not already. Um, so you can keep up with my videos and my content. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. See ya!